Welcome to High School Highlights. I'm Brendan Chapman. On Saturday afternoon, I was up in Tulsa for the Guthrie at Tulsa, Washington game. Let's keep telling finding Kentrell Brothers for the first quarter of the day. But this would be the day Tulsa, Washington quarterback Eric Bennett proved he was officially a problem. The junior quarterback was outstanding. Both teams made several big plays, including this one by Michael Doctor, but did you see the laundry on the field? This touchdown didn't count. And the Blue Jays had their share of big plays as well. Watch Dante Foster on this punt return, making several nice moves. The cut back across the field and thank thank him. Thank thank him. But the Blue Jays were unable to capitalize with a touchdown and Booker T drove right back down the field and then Eric Bennett found Tony Daniels Jr. to make the score 10-10. As I said before, this game featured several big plays. Watch Josh King here. Get off me! But with its back against its own goal line, the Booker T. Hornet defense stepped up. And after Guthrie took a 13-10 lead at the half, the Blue Jays fumbled the ball early in the third. Then with his team trailing, Bennett does what he does, setting up a field goal to tie the score at 13. It remained that way until roughly two minutes left and Booker T is trying to hit the game winning field goal, but it's blocked. Then Guthrie returns it to midfield. But the very next play, the move! Let's recover. Then on the very next play for Booker T, it's a uh, move! Didn't I just say that? So Guthrie has new life and is looking to drive down the field trying to get into position to win the football game. This screen pass to Clayton Smith does the job and then the most controversial play of the game. Was it good? Was it no good? Uh, referee says no good. And that means we're headed to OT on Book T's first possession is Eric Bennett getting to the house. Then Guthrie quarterback Keaton Callens returns the favor. After 1 OT, we're still tied up. Then Callens finds Brothers again, another touchdown. And then guess who? It's Eric Bennett on fourth down. Touchdown. And we're tied up at the end of two overtimes. Then it's Bennett again. So with Booker T holding the seven point lead, the on the defense stiffens, stopping Callens on first down. Then Callens finds Dante Foster to the four yard line. On third down, this Callens again, not quite making it about to the one yard line. And finally, on fourth down, Michael Doctor and friends say, No, sir. Booker T to the seven. So let's talk to Michael Doctor and Eric Bennett about the win. I'm going to go to semi-finals. I'm going to win the semi-finals in about, I'm going to say, eight years since 2005. So it's feel real, real straight to the semi-finals now. You guys, you guys battled them back and forth. I know you had, early on you guys had to feel like you make a big play, look back, there's a flag. So how was that roller coaster for you guys, all this thing? I mean, it was kind of putting us down at first, but we just came back and showed up. Uh, a little busy off and came back and scored again. Heading into this game, did you guys kind of look at this as almost a state championship? Yeah, you could say it's a state championship game. Really. It was two great teams, the number one and number three. So, yeah, you could say it. How important was your defense today? It seemed like you guys, when push came to shove, you all made some big play. But today was real great. It was real important because all the uh, country did is uh, run the ball. 
that's what our teams like to do on us. So, yeah, it was really great, too. Real important this game. I'm looking forward to the semifinals. Y'all will have El Reno. Um, I'm sure you haven't seen no film on them or nothing like that, but just how excited are you to have a chance to possibly go to the finals? I mean, it feels real great. It's a great honor. Tell me how you're feeling right now. Obviously, that was a roller coaster type win. Man, I feel real great. We had a big win. Like, we had a lot of overtime, so defense just stuck out there and just did a job. And we executed it. What's it like when you're in overtime like that? You know, any little mistake, any little fumble, game for you. Yeah, just go out there and try not to make no mistakes. Just go out there and execute. You just try not to think about it and just play football? Yep, just go out there and just natural ability to take over. Heading into this game, did you guys kind of look at it as a uh, championship game? Because, you know, you're going against the defending champions. Obviously, it's a two top five team. Yeah, like they set it up like where all the top four teams play each other this week. I don't know why. It's just like whoever's going to win, they're going to be basically in the championship. So you guys really looking forward to the potential to potentially go to a, a championship after maybe a semifinals? Yeah, we're trying to get that, trying to get in the gym. It's been like 20 years since we won. So I know you guys have a lot of tradition here. Does it feel good to be a part of kind of bringing that? Yeah, it feels, it feels great to be a part of this decision.